Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 18R. The question says, open the database that you saved at the end of task 18Q. Produce a report that displays all the data for the make, model, color, S price, Y, and extra fields for all the cars with alloy wheels from task 18L within week of a portrait page. And also has your name in the report header followed by cars with alloy wheels, okay? So we're going to base our report on task 18L query, which is here, okay? So if you go to your former queries, you can see task um, 18L, okay? So if you have not done the task of 18L, you can, you can see the link of the video at the description below, or you can just see the link also up here, just came out, okay? So um, we're going to base our you know, uh, report based on this query. So if you look at extras, you find that these are, that's the extras column, sorry. You find that every extra has alloy wheels, okay? So these are the cars that will contain alloy wheels, okay? And if you go to design view, let's go on design view, you should be able to see that the uh, wild card was used to extract just the cars that have what alloy wheels. So this is the right um, query us to use okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to go to create and then go to report section and then report wizard um the fields that are needed are make model color let me just choose those first make model color and then the next ones are the x price ye and extras okay so i have uh, x price ye and extra so these are the fields that I need. Now, when you're doing this, be sure that you select the right uh, tables or query. So in this case, we're basing our report on uh, task 18L uh, query, okay? So make sure it's selected here, okay? So we move. All right, so there's no grouping, so we move to the next. No uh, sorting here, so we move again. And then, of course, the question says that we should have but let me just use this snapping tool here. Okay. So the question, so we're done with this part. So of course, we have to take note that the question says that this, uh, you know, the fields should be within a width of a portrait page, okay? So we should be conscious of that. So we're gonna leave it in portrait here. And of course, the tabular uh, layout, okay? So sometimes uh, the question will remind you to have your page as landscape so you can you can also click this um, check this button so but this time around i'm going to tick this which is portrait okay and also remember to um check the adjust the field width so all fields fit on this page so it will help you to arrange your fields to fit in a single page so always leave this checked okay so we move ahead so what's the next thing? So the next thing is to have uh, your name in the report header filled by, uh, sorry, your name in the report header followed by cars with alloy wheels. Okay, so normally uh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna name this. So if you name this, uh, if you give this the title, it's gonna take it's gonna take the title, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say, uh, to my name is Kitch Connolly, fast not fast. Okay, I'm just get to A, then um, followed by that text, cars with alloy wheels. So I'm going to have a, okay, let me just have Kitch go to cars with alloy wheels. So if I give you this name now, what's going to happen is that my report, the name of my report will change down here. Right, it will change to this cage cars with alloy wheels. Uh, I don't really like it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a, a name that will suggest the task and the report. The tap, um, yeah, the task. Okay. So I may have to undo what I just did. So I'm going to leave it like this and then have the reports here. So I will change the name when I'm about to create the reports. Okay. So I can have report, which task is this task um, 18R, I suppose. 
as 18 are. Okay? So that is it. But you can give it a suggested name if you want to. So, but in this case, I'm going to give it this name. So I'll be able to give me a name here, even though I can still change all this, but just to make it convenient for me. Okay, so you click on modify the report's design. I'll click on that. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good stuff. Okay, so we're there already. So um, this is a few list. I don't need you. Okay, so I think we're there. So as you can see, the as a report header, this is what appears. Okay, so I'll simply change that to what I want. But let me just click on the control and make it bigger. Let me click on the control and then make it bigger so you can contain now my name fully. All right. So I will delete this guy and then have each pool. Let me just try my name. I'm and then cars with alloy wheels. I suppose that's what it is. Cars with alloy wheels. Okay, good stuff. So I think that is it right there. So let me go to my um, report view. So if you look at your report, you find out that most of the uh, column or the data, the headings are you know, not showing pretty well because it's in a portrait. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll go to um, layout view. I like to work, even though some of these things you can also do them in you know, design view, but I, I always like to do this in layout. Because mind you, this is the portrait, this is where the line is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here, put on my control key, uh, click here, and then move this a little further here. And then probably do the same thing here. Okay, in fact, this time around, I'm going to adjust this one, move it a little further. Move it a little further. Oh, no, it's overlapping this one. Okay, so I think this is okay. So I'll resize it a little bit. Okay. So click again, hold down control key, click on the next one, and then resize it a little bit, okay? And then move it further like this, okay? So I'm, I'm, I, can, I can actually do this because um, the data is not much, but it's still showing where you have a lot of data. As you can see, down here now, this is not showing pretty well. So probably I may have to adjust this a little further just to be sure that it shows. Um, Okay, so as you can see, the problem is from here. So I'll probably hold this down so and then move it slightly just to be sure that this shows pretty well. So it's not showing. So you can actually adjust everything. So you can adjust everything just, just like we're doing it. So what I'm going to do is to pause the video and then adjust everything and then you'll we'll see how it looks like. So I don't want to take much time on this. So let me just. Okay, guys. So, um, so this is it. The, the data is showing pretty well. So I took my time to arrange everything. So you can also do that same thing. So I've, I've arranged the, the data pretty well. So all data and the columns, everything is showing very well. So you can actually uh, do, um, you know, as I, I explained, just um, use that same method to arrange everything the way they are. Okay, so I think that's about it. So the only thing I'm going to do now is simply to go back home and then go to uh, report view as a matter of fact, and then see that all my, my report is showing pretty well, okay? So this is what is required of you, all right? So I think that is it for this lesson. So uh, if you have any question, you can leave your, if you can leave your comment down below. Um, I'll be glad to answer that. So, and if you have any addition or any suggestion, please, you can leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to answer that. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please share the videos and um, also like the video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.